My name is David Brocklehurst. I'm Assistant Regional Director of Admissions for the Western United States. I'll be conducting your interview today. Why don't we start with your name, your age, and then tell me something honest about yourself. My name is Jason Lapata. I'm Portia Adler. My name is Matthew Renetsky. And I'm 17 years old. Yeah, I'm 17 years old. 17 years old, and I'm captain of the varsity volleyball team. The varsity tennis team. Captain of the varsity basketball team for three years in a row. For three years in a row. Three years in a row. I have A's in all my classes. A's in all my classes, uh, especially biology. Especially history. And if I describe myself with one word. In one word, it would be leadership. Leadership. Leader. Leader. Ship. 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 Leadership. My name is David Brocklehurst. I'm Assistant Regional Director of Admissions here at the University. I'll be conducting your interview today. Why don't we start with your name, your age, and then tell me something honest about yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Alex. Uh, I'm 17 years old, and I'm supposed to tell you that I'm a leader. Well, are you? Yeah, you know, to be honest, I don't really know what that even means. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's a vague term, isn't it? I, I mean, I could pretend I'm a leader, but when does the pretending stop? <laughs> well, if, if you're pretending, Alex, you're doing an awfully good job of it. Um, with these grades, just between you and me, this interview really becomes more of a formality. So we're both pretending. <laughs> I guess we are. Why, why don't we be honest then? Why do you want to go to this school for the next four years? Well, if we're being honest, uh, I don't. Um, I mean, it, it sounds stupid, but I'm in love. And I can't imagine spending the next four years a thousand miles away from her. Her? Jenny. Her name is Jenny. Well, uh, if you don't mind my asking, Alex, why are you here? Uh, I, I guess I just thought I'd give it a shot, you know? Um, this is what you're supposed to do, isn't it? You start at school, then you go to college, and then you got your career. And I appreciate what you're offering me here. I, I do. I just... If I'm going to be away from her, is it really worth it? I'm sorry, man. I'm totally wasting no, no, your time. No, no, it's, it's really quite all right. Um, in fact, I like a little variety in my day. Um, let me ask you this then. This girl, Jenny, what if she breaks up with you tomorrow? What then? I guess that's the big question then, isn't it? You know, who am I and what matters to me? Love or this? I just hate to see you make a decision here that would cut out your chance at a great life. Great life? I'm sorry, um, a great education. Look, obviously you're very bright, Alex. Why don't you do me a favor? Make it easy for me to accept you. Write an essay. It can be about almost anything. Just getting in by the deadline, it's midnight tonight. We have a very strict policy about that here. No essay, no acceptance, no exceptions. Okay, so if if I don't submit it in time, then uh, I don't get in. I, I really don't have a choice. I would lose my job. Makes sense. Here. This is my email. If you have any questions, feel free to send me anything. It's been great meeting you, Alex. Yeah? Uh, there you go. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> how was your day? I got the earrings. Don't you like them? You bought new earrings. You got them for me. For my birthday. In four months. Oh. You know, I met an applicant today that um, <clears throat> I'd really like to see in the fall. There's something very different about the guy. I'm actually looking forward to seeing his essay. Mm. 
Honey, do you, does it ever seem like we're pretending? Everyone pretends. And you're okay with that? When did we become okay with that? Everyone pretends, David. It's just easier that way. As you probably realize by now, I did not make the ed say uh, deadline. <clears throat> I'm gonna start over. Hello, Mr. Brocklehurst. As I'm sure you've noticed, I, uh, I missed the essay deadline. And it's not that I forgot. It's just, had I written it, it, it would have just been pretending. So that's done, and that's what I want, but. Well, you seem like a nice guy, and I want you to understand my choice. I want to show you everything that I'd lose if I went to your school. I want to show you her. There's a button on this camera that will upload this video directly to the internet. That button is a stronger commitment than any letter of intent could ever be. Once I send you this video, that's it. This video serves as my decision. You're watching this which means I sent it, so that's my choice. I guess all that's left is the slate. My name is Alex Johnson. I'm 17 years old, and I'm leaving. I'd like you to take a look at a video that an applicant sent me. David, I'm very busy. The deadline was last night. I have thousands of essays. But to look at. this kid is special, Greg. He's a leader. Put his essay in my box, and I'll take a look at it if I can. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Uh, you know our policy. No essay, no acceptance, no exceptions. Look, Greg, this kid, Alex, He's different. You, if you just twist this part where he's David, running... David, he's just going to let you down. This is how it works with these kids. They always make mistakes. Oh, you're coming to the university dinner next Saturday. Yes, sir.
Do you, uh, do you go back to the holidays or do you fully committed to being here? No, I'm close with my family and they only live like six, seven, so right? That's, uh, so. That's good. Family's important. Yeah. Why are we doing this? It's fun. What do you want me to do with this? Just write something. What, Why? What you, if Look, you... David, I, I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but this is really just strange. I just felt like if you had an opportunity to say what you... You were... are absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Are you taking a picture? Yeah, no, it's video. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm being Alex. You've oh, got the you? better face for the camera. See? I love you. You're a star. You got a nice picture of me. <laughs> Do you ever think about them? What, like clouds and airplanes and stuff? Yeah, like people. Like they're all. Everyone on that plane is going, and they're all going to start new lives, new places, new experiences. It's just like it's something I think about a lot. Fly with me. On an airplane. I'll buy the tickets. We can go anywhere. I have all those experiences. Just like those people, you know? This is my freedom. This is what I want to do with it. What do you think about it? Okay. You will. You'll consider it. You'll think about it. I'll do it. David? David, what are you watching? Oh, wait, it's this applicant that I told you about? He keeps sending these videos. I got two of them last week, and he would have... What did I tell you about these kids? There are thousands of other applicants who have actually turned in their essays, and you're ignoring them. Why couldn't the video be the essay? Reject that kid or find a new job. But, Jill, if we could set up... Uh, are you coming to the dinner tonight, David? Can I not? Can you look for a new job on Monday? Great, I was... Hi, Mr. 
Mr. Brocklehurst. I don't know if you know who I am. I don't... I don't even know who you are, really. I don't think I've actually ever seen your face, but... I just... I'm sending you this video because... Because I know how important you are to Alex. And I don't... I don't know who else to talk to. Hello? David, you're still at work? I, I just had this big pile of applications come in. Aren't you coming home to change before the dinner? I have a suit here. Hello? It starts in one hour. I'll meet you there. Brocklehurst, uh, I'm actually not super sure why I'm sending you this. I guess I want to show you the good and the bad. <laughs> it's what I signed up for, huh? The ups and the downs of life. <sighs> but at the same time, is it still worth it if someone you love is... She's not coming. Mr. Brocklehurst. It's been hours at least. The flight's still here, but it's leaving soon. You were right, I've thrown away my education. And my, she's gone. I guess I'm just gonna get on that. Oh, you know what? I stand corrected. I think that's her right now. I know. I know. Now. But how did you know? How did you know I was going to be here? Well, I watched the videos that you sent me. Uh, I, I watched all of them, and one of them was from Jenny. Wait, what did, what did Jenny say? She said, well, it, it doesn't matter what she said. She's just scared, Alex. Yeah, that's pretty clear now. God. I really blew this, huh? You were right, she's gone. And I blew my future. God, I'm such an idiot. I should just get on that plane. You can't get on the plane, Alex. What is this? You accepted me. Keep reading. 
Didn't you say that if I didn't get the essay in on time, that I would not just read the whole letter? Didn't you say that you would lose your job read if you... the letter? I deferred you until next fall. You've got an entire year. Sprawler, she's gone. <laughs> so go find her. Why are you doing this? Because 30 years ago, I made the exact same mistake that you're about to make. I was you, Alex. I was in love with someone and I left her behind. I left her for school and I just kept making the same wrong choice over and over again. And people would tell me, they'd say, well, you're gonna meet someone better and I never did. But you're different, Alex. You have a chance to make this right. Now she's out there, Jenny's out there, and for every second that you don't spend with her, you're just, you're just pretending. Well, that's it. I, I just want you to promise me that you'll go find her. Good luck, Alex. Where are you going? Home. Home? You're gonna go home? After all that, <laughs> go get her, Alex? That. You'll regret this, Alex? You're gonna go home? <laughs> Didn't you just lose your job to come out here and stop me from making a mistake? The same mistake that you made 30 years ago? Yeah, you came out here telling me we were the same. And you're gonna go home? Home? Where is she? Jenny? No, not Jenny. Where's your Jenny? The one that you left 30 years ago. I don't know. Is she alive? I don't know. I don't know anything about her. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know that you're not married to her. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Well, why are you going back there? What are you doing with your life, Brocklehurst? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever known. What should I do now? Go find her. Here, come with me. David. Attention, this one records, right? Okay. And this button, very important, uploads to the internet. And that's it. So you just talk into it like I was doing. And, uh, you know, if you change your mind, don't have to upload it. You can delete it. Nobody will see it. Nobody will hear it. It's fine. But if you do hit that little button on top, then you're committed. There's no turning back from that. Because the beautiful thing about this camera is... Uh, It'll go straight out to the world. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, she's out there, Mr. Brocklehurst. Don't regret it anymore. Uh, I'm gonna take off. Good luck. What, wait, what do I say? Start with your name. Oh, and... <laughs> about uh, your age and something honest about yourself.
My name is David Brocklehurst. I'm 47 years old, and I'm 